The OLIF 25 procedure is a muscle sparing approach through an oblique corridor to access multiple levels of the lower lumbar spine. When considering an oblique approach, we have to consider the anatomy, specifically the peritoneum, the psoas muscle, the sympathetic chain, the ureter and kidney, the lumbar plexus, the vasculature in the lumbar region, and the anterior longitudinal ligament, or ALL. Let's start with the peritoneum, a thin membrane lining the abdominal cavity containing the intestines. Anatomical concerns with the peritoneum are tearing the membrane or perforating the bowel or intra-abdominal contents. In an OLIF 25 procedure, the patient is positioned laterally and the peritoneal contents fall anteriorly due to gravity. The finger or blunt instrument enters the retroperitoneal space from a more anterior position, pointed posteriorly to skive off the top of the peritoneum. The peritoneal content can now be swept anteriorly, creating the oblique corridor. The finger or blunt instrument protects the peritoneum as the first probe is inserted. The psoas muscle in the lumbar spine contributes to hip joint flexion and rotation. In traditional trans-psoas approaches, dilation and retractor placement through this muscle can lead to muscle trauma. Stretching of muscle by jackknifing the patient and surgical table and dilating through muscle can result in post-op neural complications. The OLIF 25 procedure uses a trajectory outside or within the anterior portion of the psoas, reducing trauma to the muscle. This trajectory is also away from the posterior nerves of the psoas muscle. The lumbar nervous plexus crosses the midpoint of the L4-5 disc space. Most often seen traversing midpoint of disc are the femoral nerve and the obturator nerve. Anatomical concerns include injury to these nerves, particularly via compression and stretch during opening of a trans-psoas retractor, which can lead to post-op neural complications. OLIF 25 has a trajectory away from posterior nerves, including the femoral nerve. The genitofemoral nerve exits the psoas muscle at approximately L2 disc space and may be visualized during the OLIF 25 procedure. If visualized, it can be mobilized temporarily to allow for entry into the disc space. Kidneys and ureters are part of the urinary system that delivers urine to the bladder. A concern for retroperitoneal procedures is location of the kidneys and ureter and potential injury. As part of pre-op planning, surgeons should evaluate for abnormally low kidneys at L2 disc space or kidney transplants. The ureter is usually attached to the peritoneum and will move anteriorly with peritoneal contents as they are swept forward. Retractors may be used to directly visualize and protect the ureter. The sympathetic chain consists of ganglia on both sides of the spine and may be injured when approaching obliquely. If visualized, the sympathetic chain may be moved anteriorly using a blunt dilator or kittener to move soft tissue from the anterior psoas to the anterior longitudinal ligament. A small percentage of patients may experience transient lower extremity symptoms such as leg warmness if the chain is injured. Lumbar region vasculature primarily consists of the great vessels, the aorta and vena cava, and multiple segmental vessels and tributaries. Anatomical concerns are irregular vasculature, location of the iliolumbar vein, high bifurcation, and transitional anatomy. In the OLIF 25 procedure, look at pre-op axial MRIs to evaluate for irregular vasculature. Positioning patient laterally left side up increases the size of the corridor between the psoas and aorta as the great vessels move to the right. The preferred starting position of the probe on the disc space is anterior to the psoas and away from the major vessels. Or, start on the anterior portion of the psoas muscle. An OLIF 25 approach works away from peritoneum and anterior vascular structures. The iliolumbar vein may be observed in L4-5 disc space of patients with transitional anatomy. 
For these patients, direct visualization is recommended to identify iliolumbar vein location. The anterior longitudinal ligament is attached to each vertebral body inferiorly and superiorly at the end plate's level. OLIF 2.5 allows direct visualization of the ALL, and surgeon may leave ligament intact or release the ALL for greater lordosis. The OLIF 2.5 procedure enables an approach away from the posterior nerves of the psoas muscle and works away from the perineum and anterior vascular structures. Direct visualization is recommended to ensure specific anatomical structures, such as the ureter and sympathetic chain, are identified and mobilized away from this approach.